for me in so many ways I wanna sing about it each and every day Look, look, look and see, see, see how Jesus loves me Jesus loves me I'll shout, shout, shout and sing, sing, sing Cause Jesus loves me Jesus loves me so
another Bible story and I can't wait to do it with you. Are you guys ready? You are? Okay, let's call for Chipper. Chipper, Chipper. All right, call with me again. Chipper. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Chipper, how are you today? Oh, he's good. How are you guys? Give me a thumbs up. Oh, we have a lot of people that aren't good out there, huh, Chipper? Uh-huh. All right, so what we're gonna do with you guys today is I'm gonna show you this really cool thing that I made. Chipper, are you ready? Okay, we're gonna check it out. Here we go, ready? Ugh, let me see if I can get it up here for us. It's kind of heavy, Chipper, I don't know. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Ooh, oh, I got it up here for us, Chipper. Can you see in there? Uh-huh. Okay, friends, can you see in there? You see all that purple stuff in there? Yeah? That is actually sand. Mm-hmm, it's sand. And then I have another thing in there. Chipper, do you see that? What is that? Rock. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, Chipper. Is it sand? Nope, there's also a rock in there. Uh-huh. And so if we were gonna build a house, Chipper, what would you build it on? Rock. <laughs> that is so good, Chipper. You're right. A rock is way better to set something on and make sure that it stays because sand you normally sink in, huh? Mm-hmm, yep, and it washes away and it's not good, but do rocks wash away? Nope, they don't, Chipper. All right, Chipper, I wanna show them that we're gonna put our house in there, okay? All right, so Chipper is going to show us how we can put our house on the rock, okay, friends? Here we go, I think I got it on there. I think I got it on there. I built a house on the rock. Do you guys see that? And look, Chipper is even in front of the house, isn't that cute? Chipper decided to build his house on the rock. And you know what we wanna do? Build our house on the rock, right? The rock of Jesus, that's what we wanna do. And Jesus is always with us, that's right. But now Chipper's gonna come back so we can sing the Bible song, okay, ready? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. The B-I-V-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-V-L-E, Bible! <laughs> Good job, Chipper. Bye, Chipper. We're going to read the Bible now. And everything in the Bible is real and true. Now, this is a story that Jesus shared with the disciples to show, show them what it means to build our house on the rock. All right, ready? Ooh, look at that guy. I think he built his house in the sand, huh? Oh, but look at how happy that guy is. He built his house on the rock. That's right. Jesus told this story about two men. One man built his house on a solid rock. The other built it on soft sand. Both houses looked alike until one stormy night. The wind blew hard and the rain poured down. And in the morning, the house on the rock stood high and the other house had washed away. People who hear and obey God's words, Jesus explained, are like the wise man who built his house on the rock. They will be safe and happy. But people who don't do what I say will be very sad. We want to build our house on the rock. And the rock is Jesus and his word. So I think that tonight or today, you should open your Bible and read it too. That's right. Open up your Bible and read it. God's word is so good. And it's what we can build our life on, on the rock of Jesus. But now it's time to see what Miss Corinne is gonna color today. So grab your markers, your pens, your color pencils, and some paper, and let's see what she's gonna color today. to see Korean color. Hello friends, I am so 
excited to see you guys today. Guess what time it is? We're gonna color. That's right, you know me. I love to color. Now, in our Bible story today, we learned about a wise man who built his house on the rock. And, but there was also a foolish man who he built his house on the sand. Now, that doesn't sound like a good idea, huh? No, and it wasn't. Because when the rains came, here, can you guys make um, rain hands with me? See, the rains came and the storms came. The house that was built on the sand got washed away. It wasn't there anymore because the sand moved with it. But for the wise man who built his house on the rock, his house ended up staying there even through the storms. So when the rains came and the winds came, the wise man, his house stayed strong on the rock. Now, that's kind of like us in our lives. When we trust in the stuff of the world and we do whatever we want, that's like building our house on the sand. But when we trust in Jesus and when we read his word every day and grow closer with him, that's like building our lives on him and he's our rock. Now friends, I had a very exciting idea for what we could color today. We're gonna draw a house on a rock. So cool, I know, right? So let's get started. So Miss Corinne has her markers right here. And first, what we're gonna draw is the rock. Now you can draw your rock however you want. Here's what I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna go up and across. And I want it to be nice and big because I wanna draw a nice big house on it too, okay? So across the bottom of your page, I'm gonna go up and across. And we want it to be kind of flat though so our house can sit on it. And it's okay though if it's not perfect because rocks aren't really perfect either. And they're rocks. So see, all right, there's Miss Corinne's rock. All right, now we're gonna draw our house on it, okay? Now for my house, I'm gonna start by drawing a square. And how I do that is I'm gonna go up, across, and down, okay? So right here, go up, one line. Now draw another line going across, and now draw a line going down. There we go. Looking good so far, friends. All right, now we're gonna draw the roof, okay? Now for my roof, I'm gonna start right here, and I'm gonna draw a line going up, gonna end it in a point and I'm gonna draw another line coming down, okay? So right here, draw a line going up. There you go, friends, make sure you stop and now draw another line going down. There we go, that's our roof. What a nice roof. All right, friends, next, we gotta draw the door so we can actually get into the house, huh? So right here, I'm gonna draw a line going up, across and down, kinda like our square, just a little bit smaller, okay? So right here, draw a line going up, across, and down. There we go. What do you guys think so far? Looks like it's leaning a little, but that's okay because it's built on the rock. It's not going anywhere. So now let's add a doorknob. So for my doorknob, I'm just going to draw a little circle right there. There we go. Hmm, I think we're almost done, but I want to add a window also. So right here, I'm going to draw a square, okay? Like I said, just like the house, just a little bit smaller. There we go. There's a square for the window so when you can look at it and see the crazy storms. Now I'm just gonna draw some lines in it so it looks like a window. There we go, friends. Hmm, it doesn't really look like a storm though and this house survived the storm. So I'm gonna grab my blue marker and around my rock, I'm gonna draw some water. But this house isn't going anywhere, huh? Cause it's built on the rock. And that's the same things. When we put our trust in Jesus and when we grow closer to him and read our Bibles, it's like we built our house on the rock. Some crazy things might happen in life and we might go through some hard times, but when we trust in him, he is always with us and he will always take care of us. So friends, can I see your house built on the rock? Hold up your paper, I wanna see it, okay? Whoa, look at that house. Oh man, that one has a crazy storm but it's not going anywhere. Guys, you did so good. And I want you to remember, be like the wise man who built his house on the rock. All right, friends, that's all I have for today. So I'll see you again soon. Bye. Hey friends, we're here to do a memory verse, but we don't all just want it to be in our heads. We want it mm -hmm. to be in our hearts. Oh, That's yeah. right. We want this memory verse to change even who we are and what decisions we make in life. Mm -hmm. Right, Corinne? So what's the memory verse? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that comes from Hebrews 13, 8. So let's do it with some moves now, you guys. I'm ready. ready? I'm ready. Yep. All right, ready? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. That was good. good. Job, that was everybody. so good. Okay, I'm ready. It would be so much
much fun hmm. if we said it with our tongues. Uh, uh, show us your tongues. Uh, uh, okay, let's do it. Are we ready? You guys ready? Okay. Okay. Be love is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the first team A. <laughs> you guys did such a good job. All right, go ahead, work on it with your teachers, and tell everybody that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever.